Hi guys, Danny here. Welcome back to another video where I'll be answering one of my most asked questions about filling in the seven backend keywords. I'll be going into depth and showing you exactly what I do. So make sure you watch this full video to the end. So for those that may not know what the seven backend keywords are, when you are uploading a book to Amazon, right at the bottom of the first page, you have seven blank boxes, which you can add keywords to, and this should help your book become more discoverable. Now, everyone has their own opinions on how these should be filled, but let's start off by taking a look at some of the keywords that we should be avoiding. So I'm just looking at the guidelines that Amazon provides us with. And first it talks about information covered elsewhere in your book's metadata. So ideally don't use the same words that you've used in your title subtitle. Then you've got words already mentioned in your book categories, subjective claims about the book's quality, best novel ever, you know, best color in book, greatest color in book. You should avoid words like those and then time sensitive statements such as new uh, on sale and available now. Next, we have information common to most items in the category. And then we have the word book, which I have used before. So it's something that I need to change going forward. Then we have spelling errors, variants of spacing, punctuation, capitalization, and pluralization. We also have anything misrepresentative, like the name of an author not associated with your book. And it says that this kind of information can create a confusing customer experience. And this is something that Amazon takes very seriously as you can lose your account from this. Next, we have brands that you do not own or that you are unauthorized to use. And this is for those that are strictly creating books around copyrighted and trademark terms. Yes, their book might be on Amazon for now, but they will eventually lose their account. Next, we have quotation marks in the search terms. Then we have Amazon program names like Kindle Unlimited or KDP Select. And finally, HTML tags. So now that we have a clear picture of the keywords we should be avoiding, what keywords should we be actually using? And the two types of keywords that you can be using can be separated to short tail keywords and long tail keywords. Now short tail keywords are typically one to two words long and whilst they do have a higher search volume there is more competition with these keywords and it can be a little bit more challenging to rank for them. Then on the other hand we have long tail keywords and these can typically be three words or more and these also have a lower search volume than the short tail keywords however as they are more specific they are more likely to attract your interested customer as it matches their specific search. So from this information, we can really start to think how we want to order our keywords. And the order that I've actually had most success is with having my title as the main in-demand long tail keyword that I want to rank for and my subtitle as the secondary long tail keywords that I really want to rank for. And this is because Amazon actually places more weight on the title and subtitle over the backend keywords. So I would really try to make sure that you're placing your most in demand long tail keywords in the title and subtitle. Then I focus the seven backend keywords on relevant short tail keywords and there are any other long tail keywords that I want to use. And I'll show you an example of this. So this is my large print owl coloring book that I've been taking you through a series on my channel about. And it currently has 12 ratings with 4.6 stars. So it has gained a lot of traction. Through keyword research, I found an in-demand long tail keyword. So I went with the title large print owl coloring book for adults. And if we check on Amazon, we can see that my book is currently ranked on the first page and it is the second book after all the advertisements. So it's got a really good ranking at the moment. And that's because there was a low number of search results at the time and there were some low BSRs for books under those keywords. So definitely make sure you're choosing main long tail keywords as the title. However, if we look at the back end keywords, I'm not going to reveal all of them as some people would just copy it. But why I favor short tail keywords here is because Amazon can use these keywords in any order. So for example, I've used this first box here to fill in different types of owls that are included in the coloring book. And if we take the first word, which is barn, then I mix it up with some words in the title, such as owl coloring page. Then if I type in this keyword into the Amazon search bar, we can see if it's ranking for this keyword. And if we scroll down on this first page, then we actually see our book is ranking for this keyword. And even though the word barn was not included in the title or subtitle, and this long tail keyword wasn't even listed together in the backend keywords, 
Amazon will still mix and match and index the backend keywords that you provide. Now, I wouldn't use this long tail keyword in my backend keywords as there just isn't a huge demand for it at the moment. We can see by the very high BSRs. And for me, if I included that long tail keyword in my backend keywords, it would take up space where I could find more valuable and in-demand keywords. So my books are shown to the right audience, which should lead to more sales. So for me, this is why I don't always fill in fully all the backend keywords. As you can see in this example, what's more important is to include all the relevant keywords to help the right audience discover your book and buy it. So with the backend keywords, it's better to use less short tail keywords. And you might want to think about who the book is for, what's included within the book, any themes or even occasions when the book might be used. Now we have a good idea of how these keywords need to be used and ordered. The next step is how do we find these keywords? And I'll show you four different free ways that you can find relevant short tail and long tail keywords. And the first includes the Amazon search bar. So I'd recommend typing in the main long tail keyword that you want to rank for. And then what will happen is the Amazon search bar will suggest for you the keywords the customers have been using. If you have AMZ suggestion expander, it's going to give you even more keywords. Although I don't suggest that you just take and throw in all of these keywords, make sure you understand who your book is for your audience the themes they're interested in, and you're selective with the keywords you choose. So there is no point trying to target seniors, adults, teenagers, toddlers, all in one go. You'll have more success niching down in one audience, let's say seniors, then going on to large print coloring books, then looking at whether it's for relaxation. And this will help you get on the right path. The second method that we can use to find short tail and long tail keywords is actually looking at competitors listings. So if you just scroll through and in particular, the listings that you do see with a low BSR, pay attention to their title and subtitle and take a note of the repeated keywords words that you can see between those popular books. Thirdly, we can actually use Amazon ads. Uh, what you can do is just start a new campaign. You can go down to where it says targeting, then make sure you choose manual targeting and keyword targeting, then enter list. And you can just type in your short tail or long tail keyword. And you will also be provided with more keywords that you can use. So we've got for kids, for adults, for kids ages four to eight for adults relaxation, for girls. So this gives us more options. And finally, we've got keywordtool.io. So this is actually a free website that will provide you with a bunch of keywords. All you have to do is make sure that you select the right platform, which is Amazon, then type in your short tail or long tail keyword, then go down to the keyword suggestions. And it's literally provided us with a long list that we can choose from. So finally, I wanna mention the importance of these backend keywords, especially when you're running automatic and lottery ads. I usually get a lot of questions from subscribers saying that they are getting impressions, but they're not getting any clicks. And one of the reasons this could be down to is your backend keywords that your book is just not being shown to the right audience because of the words that you've chosen. And this is where things such as keyword stuffing and irrelevant keywords will really harm your book. But Unlike the title and subtitle, you are able to go back into the backend keywords. And as I've shown in this video, make sure that you choose the relevant keywords that will help your target audience discover your book. So thanks for watching another video and let me know if you've got any questions in the comments section.